femoral hernias are actually part of the category of groin hernias, uh, meaning that they're in the same area as an inguinal, but the difference between the femoral is it's lower. It goes in the space of the femoral canal. The femoral canal is the space where the blood vessels that travel to the leg come out of the groin area. So it's lower, it's more towards the crease and the lower aspect of the groin. Now, usually it presents as a bulge with coughing or straining that area. Sometimes you can't feel a bulge and there's just pain in the area. And this has to do with if there's, sometimes the hernias are very small or there's excessive fat or skin in the area that makes it less apparent. The way we find them on physical exam is usually by palpating over the femoral space. We could actually, by having the person cough or sneeze, feel a hernia going down to the femoral space. Now sometimes in females, they could also have a femoral hernia because the pelvis is wider, so the hernias can travel down the femoral space. But in general, these hernias are still more common in males. If we can't find a femoral hernia on examination, then we use imaging studies, ultrasound, CAT scan, MRI, to help us be able to find these hernias. The way we fix them is it can be fixed with multiple approaches. It can be fixed with either direct hernia, a direct incision in the groin area, where we reduce the femoral contents, which has the hernia, and reinforce and repair the hole, usually with either a mesh or a screen. This can be done also laparoscopically as well, where you go behind the pelvis, reduce the hernia, reduce the femoral hernia, and reinforce the area.